In the previous video, it was a news video where we showed you that just prior to the shutdown or the retirement of the Arcanlex projects, we leave you with one last personal ISO, my personal vision, how I would like to go forward with my hardware, with my machine, right? So this is the Arconet Cairo I'm working on, keep rolling on and maintaining right so here he is Cairo has been built locally on my machine why not eh? you can download or you can build it's up to you so optical drive choose the disk file let's have a look at what it looks like and then you decide if that's something for you it's a personalizer that means I don't want other kernels I just want the Arch Linux kernel that's good enough for me it's based on Arconet it has all the Packages from Arclix, but they are now called Edu packages. Edu stands, of course, for Eric Dubois. And yes, it's still called Arclix, right? It is just an extra name behind it, Arconet Cairo. The code comes from there. We have here a button to install Arclix. You have in the menu also an install Arclix, and then you just say launch. This is, of course, the selling point in the sense that Calamari is used on many Linux distributions to quickly get things running, right? But we go for the safety of an offline installation. You choose your language, where you live, the keyboard, all default choices in so many Linux distributions. I've made it fixed, right? X4, that's it. So I've changed Calamari's to say, no, whatever it is, ButterFS, I'm reading that currently there are some issues about ButterFS. So, voila, um, I've made my choice. This is X4, I'm working on X4 at this point in time. This video is created on X4. It's created on this thing, Cairo, for the foreseeing future. That's what I'll be updating and, and keep rolling, basically. Right. So we have, um, everything the way we like in the sense that this is basically what I like to have around XFCE, ChatWM, X4, uh, SDMS login, uh, system boot. those are the major decisions and then it's just a software right you just put a hashtag in front of one of those applications and it's not on the ISO you can build Cairo it's not difficult dot slash build done right it's it's not that difficult watch a few videos and then it's okay so visual studio code is on board things that i would like to have after installation working right something to torrent lots of browsers i love browsers right it's my choice it's my iso my personal iso and like i said it's just a hashtag before i don't know vlc and it's not on the iso and so not on the next system so there you go, ArchLynx tweak tool, you know that, uh, it's gonna be maintained and the ArchLynx logout as well. That's my bit of Python code that I like to keep uh, working on, huh? keep maintaining my knowledge about GTK and about Python would be fun, is fun. <laughs> and uh, let's just wait for the everything to finish. We boot up, we have two things, ChatWM, XFCE, you can already ask that, XD, right? and XDW for the Wayland guys. So that's on the machine. XFC and ChatWM is, um, is there. Let's just wait. You'll see if you build the ISO and it's super fast and if you install it, it's also super fast, right? It's just always um, interesting to have another ISO, like a development ISO or something later on. And then you can experiment with code. So I did again, looked again at all the Arconet code and found even things like, oh, didn't see that, right? So there are always things that are out of your line of sight, is that it? Uh, in the corner of your eyes. And then when you develop another ISO, I say, I could have done that better. So there you go. Cairo is here as a blueprint. You can use it to create a builder or anything else, right? That's the point. That's the fun in Arch all those possibilities it's up to you to learn it 
And maybe you've noticed, but in this version of Cairo, the one you built today, I've used AI to get rid of all the bash scripts. Well, not all, but many bash scripts and put them in, like you see here, Cairo remove NVIDIA, a module. They became all modules at this point in time. And I don't know what I'm going to change in the future, but that's the thing, right? Cairo is still something to play around with. And um, I like to have these possibilities. So these are modules. In this case, the modules are actually in the user lib calamaris. And I have extra modules in here that nobody else has, right? I've created some things to replace, right? The scripts, the bash scripts. So it's always interesting to revisit code and say, can't I do this differently? And with AI these days, we just push in the bash script and say, give me the module written for Calamaris. And there you go. Let's boot up. So this is what I have afterwards. And if I use the Cairo ISO, it's basically, I say again, what I'm working on, what I'm using as my system now. And we get a chat WM login. Think about VirtualBox always, Control Alt O, kill Pycom. Take a look at the bar up here. It just says a WM, right? It's Pycom. Control Alt O, I kill it. Pycom stopping Pycom, and there everything is working. Of course, not transparency. As you see, super Q, super Q, everything is working just quickly and fine. Super X, you log out. That's the Arch Linux tweak tool. That's the one we keep on developing because we like this, right? We want to keep this XFCE. And this is probably better for the majority of users. We are on a desktop. And I said I've built just a few minutes ago, right? So there you go. You've got. Um, an ISO choices again. Farewell to Arclix and thank you indeed for the journey and the support, financial support, right? Well, stop. Uh, well, the, the financial support for Arclix will stop. But if you do want to support, then there is this PayPal link and use Kofi link up here. If you appreciate the fact that we put everything in place so that you can have your own distro based on Cairo, based on Buildra, use all the sources and you can build your own Arch Linux based system. That would be great if from the ashes of our project, something else emerges. Cheers.